Hey! When the summer is over and you're still sticky from the theater, time to feel the butt hurt! Because it's the 2018 movie draft wrap-up with the Mythwits. The show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest or a couple of these numb nuts uh, yeah, to talk waited. about the ever-expanding Geekoverse. Uh, we're not going to play a game this week. Our show is the game. Uh, we do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. This week we are wrapping up the 2018 movie draft. I present to you El Topo and Gogs as Team Moho. What up? I all uh, uh blah, blah, sorry, Team Phoenix and Petra uh, and, and Scott Legault. Hey. I just screwed that all up. Uh, Lumpy and Sam could not join us tonight. Apologize. Uh, Colin, Colin from somewhere in the south. I think a BP lot. Uh, with I'm getting on a handsy. Beach. What do you mean? I'm on a what? beach. <laughs> Look at the picture. Stand up. Stand up. Behind the gas station. Right. It's uh, Mike Kafis and, uh, and, and Jen A. Hey, Jenny. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You're Hi, welcome. Uh, so Hello. so Hello. Mike and Jenny are coming back from vacation, and uh, uh, they couldn't get back here in time. So they're, they're joining us. Join us from a sweaty parking lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the parking lot's not sweaty. We are. All oh, right. Well, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, um, <laughs> besides, we didn't win, Pete. So it's not like we have to gloat on yeah, a boat or anything. That's true. Gloat. Wait a minute. Hey, gloat on a boat. Well, that that's a still listing off air. You know. What's that? Air. Still says off air in the corner. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're live. What the fuck? The thing says live. It says here, end live video. I think it's live on Facebook, so I think you're good. All right. Yeah, you're live. It's live. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, you're saying, no, the Hangout. No, the Hangout is off air. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that's that's because we just, we cheat. We keep the Hangout off air, and then we go yeah. live on Facebook. Get inside, the, okay. get inside the sauce there, the secret Circle. sauce. Right. Circles. See, you flipped it around. <laughs> yeah. So, all anyway, right. So, on the gloat boat, yes. And these, the water that in which the gloat boat sails is actually your tears. Two tears. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, the oh no. Yeah, take that lid. Yeah. <laughs> take that lid. Oh gosh. It looks like he's such and such. I'm ready. I'm devastated. Right. <laughs> See, I, I'm fully prepared here to eat crow for you guys. I have the crow. <laughs> I expect you to eat the entire crow. <laughs> eat that whole bird. <laughs> I got my, I'm going to eat it like haggis. I'm going to pour some whiskey on it. There you go. Then, uh, talking like, there's not only tears in there, there's some sweat in that ocean, too. Oh, there well, is. dogs and I, I mean, we there's sweat. There's some through. sweat in Mike's car right now, so. Yeah. Yeah, all right, Terry, yeah, my, my, my wife confirmed we are live. All right, so look, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, Ready. So what I'm going to do is let, let's get into the, 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 the big picture here. I'm going to... Show the chart for everyone, and just so you all can follow along, I will screen share that. We were doing so good. You were. <laughs> we were. We were. <laughs> we were. <laughs> look, that Wait, damn incredible movie. Yeah. One cut, oh, two. Was, oh, I, saw. What, I think what it was was uh, a strategy of the gods. Oh, come oh, on. Yeah, I think was it, it was a uh, yeah, bum yeah. walk. Oh no! No, no. We know what idiots like. We want we 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 know something about idiots in movies. We, we know what the, we know what the dumb dumb see. Yeah. yeah, maybe it might even turn out that somebody had infinity luck. What's that? Yes. There you go. Some, somebody was, had infinity was, luck. That was purposeful. We picked that movie. So, all right. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. It started out. It started out with Infinity War, carrying the day, and Scott and Petra, they, Team Phoenix was, they were hot until week 10, and right at week 10, Molehole, boom, skyrocketed right past him, um, and, and you're right, I think that was, uh, it was Incredibles 2, and uh, uh, what was that other one that did it for you, uh, crap, I don't have the individual, really hold on, two. <laughs> Hold on. I got it. I can do this. I can do this. Um, it was... Turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. Um, 
You fresh out internet? Here we go. So it was it was uh, all right. So Incredibles two was six hundred and one million, uh, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom got you four hundred and fifteen million. So you guys, That's a bill, son. That's you a made bill a B. Right. Nobody else hit a billion. You made a billion on those two movies. Wow. Very good. Very good. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Wait till next year. Yeah. Wait till next year. Yeah. Just breathe it in. Yeah. So we have a we have a toast to you guys. We're gonna toast right. you guys. Cheers. All right, let's toast. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm toasting. I'm toasting in my picture. That's it. You toast it with that gibber. All right, so so let's let's go down this real quick. Um, so I want to go. Let, let's first off, let's do the order. Let's do the order of, of how who won what and where and when. So Mohol, of course, obviously we've already established, they came in at one point three billion dollars, first place by a long shot, by a long yeah. shot. With a B. Uh, Team Phoenix came in at second place. 965 million not bad not shabby that is that is a very good score very good score I'll take not enough that to win but happy. that's a fantastic score uh then <clears throat> there's no excuse the team with the most experience doing this came in at third way way the f down at 575 million mike that was a terrible score <laughs> I, I mean i mean uh, you know yes it was yeah, that was a terrible that. score. Horrible. Horrible. The only thing that was worse was Team Ice Pack with five hundred nineteen million. <laughs> and I cool. thank I thank God for that. Yes, I I'm so happy that somebody came in lower than us because I I really hate to come in last place in our own game. We got hot math. Hot, we got hot math. You guys, you guys managed to pull off the, the Mythwits. Forty-four percent of our total. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. I'll take I'll take forty four percent of a billion. Hey, and you know what? You know what's funny is that we didn't even get out of last place until week fourteen. Like it was it was and like imagine, the, I know they're not here, but imagine if the other team had actually spent their quat loose instead of holding on to them for next year. I think they bought burgers. I think they bought burgers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they finish with like forty? Yeah. yeah, they had they had like a chunk of their points left. So, yeah. anyway, hey, it happens. I mean, just like when the, you die, you can't take them with you. you can't take yeah. them with you. So oh, I'm gonna get buried with all the buttons. Right. right. You know the the funny thing is is that you can strategize all you want, but we actually took a lot of that strategy out of the game by having the movies come up at random times. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that that really messes with people, and we did that on purpose. Um, That's yeah. why you're in the last place. I mean, second to the last place. Yeah, hey, I know, yeah. Pete. Pete. I mean, we sat there painstakingly and just like decided everything with down to a science, and then that science turned around and bent us over uh, <laughs> really hard, Quatlu, because everything came in, all that stuff coming in last. I mean, we really. Yeah. Mm, well, we I mean, got, so, we didn't talk about it beforehand. No, we're just this naturally from the hip. Yeah, just, yeah. 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 <laughs> we look, hey, we, I don't think we looked at it until that day. No, so. I I gotta tell you, you <laughs> honestly, I I did I did the science on this. Uh, what was it? I think it was last year, Mike, when I won, and I crushed. I was like I was like TJ and and, and Gogs here on the um on last year, and um because I mean I killed everybody by a mountain. And I was—I had done all this research, and I was just like, you know, looking at what other people had predicted movies are going to be, and figuring out how much I should spend for each one. And um, and they did—they came up random the same way. And Mike, can you mute real quick? I'm sorry, I'm getting tons of feedback from you. Um, I so, am muted. I just unmuted. I am muted. But while I oh. have myself unmuted, oh, okay. Let me let me just say this: that now that I'm thinking about it, um, Gogs and uh, and uh, Teppo, they, they, you know, you guys won because of uh, actually, you guys didn't win. It's the uh, whiskey that won. So <laughs> the whiskey. Oh, really? The I mean, gloat boat hard. is floating on whiskey. I mean, oh. I'm, I'm continuing. Like, really, 
It's There's actually a light beer. Us and the whiskey. I mean, I bought the whiskey. And I'm always drunk, so, I mean, it's just a part of myself. It's an extension of my body. It's it's like his drunken kung fu, right? The more he drinks, yeah, the more of a master yeah. he becomes. Get stupid, be, yeah. Be the whiskey. Right, so... All right, so he, there were some, there were some really like crazy upsets in this whole thing. As far you know, the way I thought of it, uh, let me go back to this image here. So like, for example, Solo, right? Solo. We suck under, shit. Yeah. Under, <laughs> but I don't care if it sucked or not. I like, I personally liked it, but I can see where people wouldn't like it. But it doesn't matter. It still should have made twice what it made, no matter how good or stinky it was. Real talk. This summer, I only saw movies that we picked. Yeah, really? that's true. It's the movies I wanted to see and that think, other people picked. And I, I mean, I, I think the thing with Solo is, is I think that, yeah, in theory, a Star Wars movie should have made, it doesn't matter how the quality of the film, but I think people, there's Star Wars fatigue. And I think yeah. that the bad word of mouth, just coupled with the fact that this really was a movie that nobody wanted. Like, I, I don't, like, diehard fans were like, a uh Han -huh, Solo, Solo movie, why? Like, and so, like, if hardcores don't give a shit about it, cash oh, people aren't going to give a shit and, about it. And it was coming off, of the, coming off the heels of a very controversial uh, episode eight. Yeah. So yeah. people were kind of... And, and again, uh, if the movie was fantastic, it wouldn't have mattered. But the it came out, the word of mouth wasn't great. So you didn't have the core support of the diehards. Then you're going to get nobody to catch on to it since the, the word of mouth and the critic reviews were so bad. So... It was kind yeah. of a perfect storm of terribleness. All yeah, right, I, Gogs, Gogs, I'll give you that. Um, but I'll also give you this, that Ultron was already dead. So how is he going to have that much, that good of a performance in uh, Star Ultron? Wars? Yeah, what? not Ultron. I meant, um, what's his name? <laughs> what are you doing in that car, Mike? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's his name? Solo, Han Solo. Are you talking about Darth Maul? What are you talking? No, about? No, no. Who's the the dude who played um the bad guy? What? In what? God damn. Yes, in Solo, the the Paul Bettany, whatever his name is. What? Who did he play? Who cares? He was just some. He, he's some guy. made up. He's some made up guy. I I know. All right, forget my joke because I was trying to make the wow. joke about him playing in. Uh, in uh, Infinity Wars. Oh, 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 oh all, right. all right. You're, 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 yeah, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah, like vision, yeah, not ultra. Jesus, Mike. Right. Jesus. All right. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right. Hey, push it. Hey, uh, Pearl, on the movie um, the podcast, we call that a quality gogs comment. That uh, stops hey. the show and goes yes. nowhere. Yeah, we're hey. going to fail. It's in the floor from jokes hitting so hard. Uh, <laughs> pushing mute now. Okay. What's that, Scott? You were saying? I said it's just a fail. <laughs> okay, right. I gotcha. Okay, so look, so so I felt that Star Wars severely underperformed, which really hurt us oh, yeah. bad. Oh yeah. Um, I and I thought Ant Man would do better, but that was uh, it. It did fine. I mean, it did what it what you would expect it to do. I was kind of hoping it would ride the wave of of all this stuff because, you know, we all knew. Yeah, but but. But we all knew that after Infinity War, Ant-Man was going to add something to that story. And I figured everybody would run to see it to figure out, you know, get an idea of where it was going. I mean, it did well. It did, it did oh, basically about as well as the first one did, right? I think it yeah, did a it, little yeah. better. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's, I think, like, that's about the level of interest you're going to get out of that character. I mean, like, it's a good movie. People like it. You know what I mean? But it's not, like... A blow away from you gotta see seven. Marvel times. has a much, much heavy hitter bug person in Spider Man. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. so in the Spider Man. It's gonna be yeah. you know Steve Spider Man. Steve Spider Man. Yeah, you know, we wanna do a movie. I, I always wanna do like a spoof movie, you know, Spider Man and Spider Man, attorneys at law. You know? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I hey, I got hit by a car. My neck hurts. Call Spider Man and Spider Man. You know, I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, so I was actually really surprised. I was surprised that Incredibles two did as well as it it, it did. Why? I mean, I I would Why never have predicted it doing that, that well. Huh? They kind of knocked it out of the park. The Incredibles might be the first Incredibles might have been the best, one of the best Pixar movies ever. Granted, yeah, fifteen years ago, yeah, and people were do people were sitting on that, waiting for yeah. it to show up. 
for like 15 years. Right, that's what I mean. I thought 15 years was going to be too long. And I thought I kids bro, I took my son. Yeah. I know, but the I preview didn't go looks see that movie just because you voted for it. <laughs> no, I didn't see it anyway. No, I mean I, that's a thing like that that movie definitely hit like a marketing sweet spot because like Gogs just said, I mean you have old nerds that love that movie when they were younger and they'll just go see it no matter what. It's picks they bring their so kids to it. Yeah. It's quality, you can take your kids, so like everyone knows a Pixar movie is gonna be good. Like they just they could churn anything out, and it, you know, even their lesser films like Cars Two and still stuff, better than other they, shit, and they still make a ton of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have I a, just they have a better you know plot line than Disney, where the mother dies in the first five minutes. So. Yeah, yeah. Right. that but I did I, buy out every seat in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> but I also thought, dude, I also thought that that the the preview the preview I saw I thought was dumb. I was just like. Oh, it's a babysitting movie with a crazy baby out of control. I'm like, oh, that was I'm the not. That's part of the movie. Uh, okay. The, part, All right. the baby part was the the baby part. Another, uh, another member of movie the podcast, Sean. Uh, he explained it. He was 100 percent correct in his, in his analysis, I believe, that the story about Mr. Incredible being this sort of fish out of water, washed up dad with nothing to do, but he has to deal with a super baby at home. It was like Mr. Mom on steroids. It was right. that was the best part. It was better than the main plot. All yeah. right. I knew hey, I knew that we were in trouble, Pete. When I started watching that movie, I knew that we were in trouble. Like, cause I was thinking like you, like nobody's gonna want to watch this movie after 15 years. But the first thing they did is apologize and say thank you. I was like, oh, we're screwed. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, whatever. I I'm just saying it was a surprise to me. I was obviously wrong. Um, <laughs> Jurassic World again, another one. I thought that that franchise was was kind of played out. You know, and, I mean, like that, that movie yeah. fucking sucked. Yeah, movie it was awful. awful. Yeah, it was so, terrible. Terrible. What's crazy? Stu is that, stupid yeah. storyline. Fucking predictable as shit. It's, and it's also one of these movies that's been kicked around like that. There's basically that six drafts of that script, and they basically Frankenstein all the worst parts and put it together and to make them. They had laser guided velociraptors. Man, terrible. Dumb. Just fucking stupid. What's crazy about uh, that movie also is so our content here only dealt with domestic box office, but that movie made a killing overseas. Yeah, overseas. Like, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Money overseas. Yeah. yeah, that that that's why we keep it at domestic because it's it's too hard to predict. And then there's also like it, it, they get DVD sales get all confused in there sure. and all that shit. And all that. You, do, you do think about it, right? Hey. Like Fast and the Furious, stupid as shit, makes tons of money. Transformers, stupid as shit, makes tons of money. Oh, I know, I know. Sure. Upgrade, excellent film. Yes. Money. No money at all. So I, I watched I watched Upgrade the other night, and I thought it was great. I thought it was a great movie. I told you you'd like that, Pete. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, it was good. I think it made. Would it make? Hold on, let me see. Uh, Eight million dollars. But it was twelve. Like a, what was that movie about? Upgrade. Twelve. This guy. It's, so this guy. It's like a cyberpunk. He yeah. gets this like guy who like hates tech and computers. Right, ends up in a situation where he's given this little chip. That gets put. He gets. He gets. Uh, he becomes quadriplegic. Gets this chip implanted in his neck, and it's an AI. And the AI basically reconnects his brain to the rest of his body. But wow. really, the AI just takes over. Yeah. So like when the AI lets him walk around like himself, he can. But when the AI wants to, it can just kind of do karate. Yeah. And, there. It's, it's and it's great. It's like a murder mystery too. It's, and it's like talking to him in his own head. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But that movie. He has no control that was over. Him. A24? No, it was um it was uh Blumhouse. Blumhouse Tilt. Yeah. That movie was a budget of four million dollars. Uh -huh. They did that on four million? It made, it made twelve. Yeah, so uh like all Blumhouse movies, they're hits because they have to be because they spend no money. They spend no money. We did we, we racked up we did a as a sidebar, we did something as a as a crew. We looked at all the Blumhouse movies that have ever been made. Yeah. I think their total budget of all their movies was something like two hundred and forty five million dollars. Yeah, basically wow. they spend on one Transformers movie. And they have cleared something like 
I don't know. I think it was something like uh, it was six or eight hundred million. Like they are and that's good for them. Box office because they make the, a ton. They make a ton of money on the home video market. They are right. in the black. They can make whatever nice. movie they want. They'll do it cheap, and they got the capital. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh. huh? That's cool. That is that is really cool. All yeah, right, so they're, they're a very interesting studio. Uh, I want to say another big surprise, another giant, because I'm not going to talk about every movie. That takes too long. Sure. Another giant surprise was Action Point. <laughs> now, we knew Action Point was going to be crappy, right? Uh, that's the Johnny Knoxville well, one. That's because it was only in theaters for like two weeks. It made $5 million. Huh. Well, so, did they good for that movie. What was the budget? Probably under a oh, million. I, I don't know. No, I don't know. But, uh, I think? 50 cents. It was 50 cents in a cock ring. Right. <laughs> But but dude, I was I was amazed. It was only in theaters because when I'm tracking this stuff on Box Office Mojo, I can yeah. see when they stop having when they stop taking money in theaters. So it it goes down, and when the weeks stop, that means they've pulled it from the theaters, wow. and it literally went two weeks, two weeks. I you know I I heard no one talk about it. Like I I saw budget it. nineteen mil. Ooh, that's a certified that. stinker. Yeah, they took yeah. a bath on that one. But I heard right. like I saw a trailer for that. Like maybe about a week before it's oh, released, oh, and then oh. I talked about it a little bit on the show. I forgot. Even. And everyone was like, "What is that?" And then, it, like, it came and went. I didn't hear a thing about it. I didn't read any reviews. Like, just totally forgotten movie. But like, yeah, the shoot Gonzo. No, but, but I, what the, the, the selling point of the movie was is that it was a it was a scripted movie. Like it was like a, a scripted comedy. But all the stunts were done like jackass style. Like they really oh, they're alive. Yeah. Oh. It's like it's an interesting enough idea, but well, I mean, Mission Impossible he does all his own stunts. Well, and that's why that's part of the attraction of those movies. Like that's for me. Anyway. So, so I wasn't surprised by any of the other movies. Really, there's almost no other movie that surprised me. Um, you know, they, they pretty much did what I thought they were going to do. Infinity War did six seventy nine oh, yeah. uh, million, and that's that's about right. Um, Overboard didn't do well. Life of the Party didn't do well. Superfly, meh, like twenty-one million for Superfly. It's about right. It's pretty Hotel good. Transylvania, one sixty-two, which is about right, even though that movie is a giant yeah. steaming pile of shit. It was us, though. Yeah. Kids, kids love those shit. Thank you. Kids love dumb shit. We, we, sixty-two we, million is not bad, though. No, no it's, it's way too much. Way too much. We saw it this weekend, and um, because we were we were so we went to Hershey Park, and then we were going to a concert the next night, and we were trying to kill time during the day. We're like, oh, let's go see a movie, and our choices were very limited. And my daughter was like, I want to see Hotel Trans uh, Transylvania. Now she liked it. She's nine. She liked it, but I'm sitting there going, oh my god, this is so fucking bad. It's so it's not funny. I mean, it's like anti-funny. The well, jokes like are so bad. It's like Adam Sandler project because he just doesn't care. Like he just oh, he hung it up. Yeah, he just yeah. It's just, it, he what just, I just watched with him lately. Though. I watched Pixels. Pixels. We watched Pixels. 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 I heard that was a turd. Oh my yeah. yeah. Be, it almost, yeah I had, I had high hopes for that, but it was bad. Pixels is officially the lowest. It was rate. a cool it's idea. First, it's the first mole hole zero. Yeah, it's the first absolute zero we've ever given on the show. Like we. Wow. Like almost canceled the show. I, I took a zero out of retirement. It was this. really bad. <laughs> I, I like the premise. I had to go find the zero in the street corner. Yeah. yeah, the premise is fine if it was actually done with anybody that cared about do, making the movie. But everybody in that movie looked so bored the whole time. Kevin James is too fat to be president. Agreed. I'll just say it. But anyway. Hmm. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. All right, so. You know, I wasn't surprised about Show Dogs, eighteen million, probably more than it deserved. Uh, Deadpool two did three hundred eighteen million. That's about right. Yeah. Even though, even though it was better than, uh, I want to say probably had to have been better than Incredibles two, but I don't oh, know. Yeah. I've seen them both. Without, I haven't no. seen them both. <laughs> but you can't take kids to see yeah, it. Yeah, well, That's true. You know, I know. Either I went and saw Deadpool two. There was a lot of kids, and I'm like, why are but you? Like, why are not kids there? Seven year olds, right? I don't know. Yeah, I went a lot of irresponsible theaters. But yeah, it's best, very right. best movie ever. Yeah, like, I, eh. What's the best movie ever? Citizen uh, Deadpool two. Oh no! I mean, no. It's I, really highly, I highly recommend the supercut. It's I, really I, good. The first I, I, one was better than the second. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought so. Zazzy like, Beats, like the most beautiful woman in the world. So. Zazzy Beats was great. Oh my god! I, I like. Both. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I, I liked I liked the first Deadpool better, but the second one was good. It was really good. I liked them both, but I liked the first one better. I, yeah, we've talked about it on the show. I, I, I for me, I, they're like literally on the same plateau. Like I feel like they're equal movies. Like I love them both. It's almost a complete picture. Yeah, you gotta see the whole show. Eh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I I agree with you on that one. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. You can't have one without the and other. got a good juggernaut. Like a mo- good movie oh, juggernaut. Like yeah. juggernaut was awesome. Yeah. Badass. Because I always wanted like the big, giant, crazy juggernaut. And that's what you finally got. Like you, you know, they never did that before. Like you got that a juggernaut game. colossus fight. It was, it was awesome. Worth the price. I loved it. Oh yeah. And this. Loved it. Yes. I'm gonna rip you in half now. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I thought it was fantastic. As as a as a longtime X Men fan, you know, yeah. seeing the fight between Juggernaut and Colossus is like just it's like finally on the screen. Yeah, right. And it, and, it was and, like satisfying. Like it. And just, no it, no oh, spoilers, but the way he beats him is also so oh, Deadpool. Yeah, it was the best. <laughs> I it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. All right. So so yeah. let's see. Um, so no. let's 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 go into let's go into some of the the way we spent and stuff. Yeah. So we got. I got the list of quatloos as people spent, um, and and I'm gonna go high and low, and I'm just gonna go down the list of, of how I have them listed. Uh, I'll start with Mythwits because they're up on top. Our highest quatloo spend was on Solo. Great spend there, Mike. Uh, our, our, our lowest our lowest spend was on Upgrade. Now our return on investment, we got we uh, Mike we made 11.5 million per quatloo on the first purge. That was our best. Making. How did the first uh, purge do? Uh, oh, first, it did not okay. Not well enough. <laughs> yeah, not well <laughs> enough. See, Mike, first purge six, by that much. That's Sixty-nine a, million. Sixty-nine. That's a Blumhouse movie. Purge. All those purge movies are Blumhouse movies. So, uh, Mohol, you did um, your uh, your highest spin was on Incredibles two at twenty-nine quat lose. Smart um, money. And your, your lowest, that was a good buy. That was a good buy. your lowest buy was Action Point. Now you're not kidding. You had the highest return on investment. Uh, well, on, on Mission Impossible was actually your highest return on investment. You got that one. You made twenty five point five million per quatlu on on that. Uh, but on on Action Point, Action Point, you made one point two five million per quatlu. Nice. How much did we spend on Action Point again? Like a dollar. <laughs> uh, action Point. You spent. Oh, I don't know. I don't have that. I'm sorry. I don't have that in front of me. No, it's fine. Right, it was low. Matter. I think it was like five. I think you spent like five on that. Yeah, because um, I mean, if it happened to hit, it hit. Yeah. So Phoenix, <laughs> your highest spend obviously was uh, Avengers: Infinity War. Yep. 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 Good you spend. spent sixty-seven quat lose on that. Yep. Um. That was the and, rest of them, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and then your your cheapest was Superfly. Makes sense. Uh, now, Overboard was your highest return on investment. You got this cheap. Or you must have gotten it cheap. I, I should have put this uh, number in there. I think I we paid six we, or we seven got it super that. cheap, yeah. Yeah, you, you got Overboard. for You got you made $16.67 million per quat loot on that. That's pretty good. Uh, wow. Superfly uh, was your worst. You made $3.5 million per quat loot for that. What we make on Infinity Wars? Uh, you're asking me stuff I don't have in front of me. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Yes. That's gonna be your catchphrase. <laughs> I should I should have had that in the list here. All right. Uh, Ice Pack. They uh, they spent their most money on Deadpool two. Their least amount on Show Dogs. Uh, and that turned out to be an indicator of what they made. They they guessed well. They made their most money off of Deadpool two and their least amount of money off of Show Dogs. So how, do, we, do we recall how many they left the, the game with? Because it was I mean, like, they had like in the 30s, oh, right? Yeah, I can't remember. I, I can't remember. If, I'm sorry. It's, it's too many numbers. The reason we spent so much for Infinity Wars was because they had like right below what left, we had. Yeah. Let me and, see if uh, I can pull this up. I, I got it. I got it right here. I can tell you. Because I feel like there was an opportunity for them to beat you on Infinity Wars. Yeah, they could have. Yeah, they they could have, yeah. but they, they never bid. But they didn't. They didn't overbid us. They could have, though. They had the opportunity um, not to do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. They had. They were left with, you're going to laugh your ass off, 43, 43 Quatlu. They only spent 57 of theirs. Wow. 
Yeah, they, um, they could have got Affinity Wars, but they stopped bidding for some reason and held out on their money. To the end. Yeah, they, they, don't, yeah, they, they don't get their squat loose for next year. And bought burgers with it. So. Right, right. And you know, uh, kind of, you know what would be an interesting little twist of root of this game? What's that? If you held on to Quat lose in the end, mm -hmm. whatever your hard, whatever your biggest ROI was per Quat Lou, you get right? that for them. You get those Quat Lou's times that. Oh, that's Ooh. interesting. Hmm. So trying to win it with the least amount of money. Like a keeper league. It's a keeper league. You know what that could be? That could be like a like a uh, um, a different award. Like you don't win the game, but you win like a special award, like like that's most efficient award. win. Yeah. Speaking of uh, award, so when when are we getting paid? Yeah, when when is our? We just had it. We just had a drink. For oh it. wait, wait. It. I'm gonna pay you right now. You ready? Here, here comes right. your award. Here he comes. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Yes. Cake. Feel like the cake. Yeah. Where's the cake? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna play the whole thing too. I'm let it go. I'm gonna, it's not that I long. Stronger, I would put on my shoulder like Miss Elizabeth, but I, I'm not. <laughs> there you go. Yes. His name was Terry Pompo? Pompo. Pompo. No, his name was Pompo. It wasn't Terry, Terry either. It was, oh, it was Randy, Terry. Randy, Randy Poffo. Randy. Randy was the other one. Randy Poffo. And his brother is uh, Leaping Lanny Poffo. The genius. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Terry Leah, who is That's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hey, you guys get a little impromptu wrestling knowledge there. Huh? There you go. There you go. Sorry, <laughs> so what what surprise I want to see, out of this game. So this is the first time um the first time you all have played uh both mm -hmm. TJ Goggs and Oh no, Goggs, did you play last year? I played the year the kid that snaked out Wonder Woman. Yes, yeah. that's right. Right, right, right. You did play that before. Was, and what's funny is that was another year. I've only played this twice, but in the two years I played it People sat on a ton of money. Yep. They went hard for the Marvel movie and lost. That yep. year was Guardians two, mm -hmm. and I mean that was a that, that was a valuable property, but the Wonder Woman somehow fucking trumped everything, which blew my mind. Yeah, was I, movie. the movie did well. I, I wasn't totally surprised by Wonder Woman. I mean, I was surprised at how much it made. I wasn't surprised that it did really, really well. I well, mean, I it so was. Sexist. I felt like I felt like. I felt like the movie was really good up until the end. I didn't like the very end. I thought the very end of it was weak. It sucks. The ending's terrible. Like, the movie's not bad, but that ending is just awful. I've still never seen it. Yeah, the ending and could have been better. But the movie Honestly, that good. movie gets points because it's not a total failure like every other DC movie. Like, it's it's just okay. It's the one they didn't have to apologize right. for. Right. Like, it's right. not terrible. Like, it's competently made. So it's like, man, this movie's great. Well, not really. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. The only thing they really have to apologize for is is porn stash villain. You know, I mean, that's just yeah, that was so I bad. Mean, like he, so like you have this like proper English gentleman who's like the villain, and then he, he's revealed to be Ares or whatever. But he's still like proper English dude, like fighting. It's like, wait, what? Like, why does he still look like that? That seems like a very easy. Like as soon as he was revealed to who he was, he should have been this big hulking, scary god dude. But no, he's still this guy that wants to get some tea and crumpets. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, right. <laughs> um, Aries. <laughs> also, like, why does every superhero movie have to like devolve into like lightning fights? Like, is that really what that movie was supposed to be? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kind of dumb. Yeah. Anyway, so did did any movies surprise you guys? I mean, like, did any was anybody like really floored by any of the movies? Because I don't. I felt I like was this year. Of by Incredibles. I was. I was just how much me. money it made so quickly. Yep. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't think, like, box office wise, honestly, not surprised by anything. Like, solo, I am. No. I, I was mean, surprised I, by I, Solo. I, I, the hand I am a little, I'm a little, I mean, the movie was terrible, but I, I did think it would do better than it did. No, I'll tell you why. And it, it's because that movie from Jump had, like, Doom production. There was, like, they fired the director. And they they had all these rewrites. They, they, they yeah. hired an acting coach for the lead actor during the filming of the movie. Like, there was so much turmoil, and it takes a lot to, like, dig yourself out of that crap. And the fact that they – I mean, this is more inside baseball than anything, but they spent basically – they spent about $200 million before the reshoot. Oh. And then they spent another hundred million on top of that. Like you're just asking to fail. Like it's just. Do they make money? 
No, I don't think so. Oh, if they did, they barely really broke even. But it's wow. Disney. Who cares? They they literally have all the money in the world. So what difference does it make? But didn't Solo didn't Solo kill individual Star Wars films? No. Are they still making them? No. No. What? What? I thought. Oh the, no. The, 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 oh. The, the no. They, it they, slowed they, it down. They, they, it slowed it, yeah, slowed it it's down. Slow- as their, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you were saying. Yeah, yeah no, it, Pete's right. They, if they they haven't announced any new ones, but they're I would be hard pressed to believe they're not going to still make like the Obi Wan movie. Yeah, I was. Hey, yeah. I was reading somewhere that there's evidence that Obi Wan is currently being filmed. There's there's a bunch of evidence for it that it's it's on schedule and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. They're just keeping it really quiet because of all is- of the. Horse shit is that what's on. is that what's next in the pipeline, or is there something else that is announced? It, no, uh, it's it's supposed to be that that is supposed to be the next solo film, the next yeah. individual independent film, uh, independent story, and and from my understanding, it's still going. They're still moving forward with that as as normal. And then there'll be the young Jabba the Hutt. Right, <laughs> young well, Jabba just, like, doing dumb shit. Like they should do like. Uh... Well, like I, can, Greedo. I can already tell you what the Obi Wan movie is going to be. The Obi Wan movie is going to have Darth Maul in it. And yeah, that, that's yeah. why he was in the friggin' Solo. Movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like it's going to be terrible. Like I just, I don't know. Like the thing that's so frustrating about like Star Wars, uh, just Star Wars in general, like the Solo movies, is that they're all so easy to make. Like the Han Solo movie is a slam dunk. Like you just don't need to make it his first adventure. Just make it an adventure. Like yeah. I assume right. that Han Solo had a hundred adventures before we got to meet him in New Hope. So just have it be a heist somewhere. Like yeah. one, our other co- our other host co-host had a, a great pitch for that movie, and it was No Country for Old Men. Boba Fett chasing Han Solo across the universe. Perfect. That'd be cool. Oh but yeah. Fucks with that movie. Right. It's you know, like they gotta do the thing where it's like this is his first adventure and this is why these dice matter and it's like no don't do that crap like we already like the character like and just, like the mystery of the character yeah, just, yeah. just give us give us stuff around it do what the old books used to do like I used to read all those Star Wars standalone novels tales of the bounty hunters and all those like were, all those were, were just slices of adventures and those were great wait a minute TJ you didn't like where he got his name Solo from oh my god that was like right. <laughs> I so I was in a crowded theater and I literally went Ugh. <laughs> several people laughed. But I was just like I like it wasn't even like I wasn't trying to be a dick, but I just had I it was like I couldn't help myself. It was just like, Oh, you're by yourself. Okay, solo. I'm like, oh my god. No. It's like no, no. What'd you have for breakfast? Bacon. All right, you're gonna be on bacon bits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Space people. Space bits. Space, space bits. Months. Space bits is a good space name. Space bacon. <laughs> ranker, also, ranker, ranker bits. There's so many forced lines in that solo movie when, like, he's like, what's your name? And he's like, Chewbacca. Oh, that's too long. I'm going to come up with something different. Like, did you need to Did you need to put that in? We just – you, oh. you don't hear Chewbacca just naturally go, oh, Chewy. It's short. That's all I need so to say. Chewbacca. Yeah, like <laughs> – Oh, oh, I could I could talk for hours about how terrible that um, fucking movie is. CB. Uh, CB. CB. It's one word. <laughs> Big ass walking rug. Chewbacca is one word. You get the idea. Anyway, it's too hard. Did, did, did what about that? Anything you liked about it though? No. That it ended. <laughs> I honestly thought I hated every minute of it. I thought it was fucking terrible. It was really? directed poorly. It was written poorly. I hated the whole thing. Like, uh, tell me how you Ron really Howard, feel, though. No, Ron seriously. Howard somehow makes a space train heist the most boring thing I've ever seen. He just like incapable of shooting action. Like, as soon as Ron Howard got involved, it's like, oh, you want milk for this bullshit? Here's Ron Howard. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I hated that movie. If you liked it, fine. I mean, whatever. I like right. a lot of stupid movies. So. How do you feel about Apollo 13? It's fine. But it's not an action movie. It's not yeah, like, it's you know. not an action movie. Right. I mean, no, it's a quiet burner. I really want to see the Lord and Taylor version, but we'll probably never see it. The Lord and Taylor version. Right. Lord and Miller, their version. That the we guys that we'll made never it, get um, to see. The guys that made the uh, the Lego movies. Yeah. Well, and, the, uh, the best part was that, what's her name? The I forget her name, but the, the one that's in charge of, like, Star Wars now. She said that she got rid of their script because it was, quote, too funny. 
Like, oh, okay. That's a good reason to get rid of something. That's good. You know, who? they should have had Quentin Tarantino direct Solo. Oh, God. I don't know about could that. You, <laughs> could you imagine? Or have him do Fett. Correct? Well, they, they're talking about it, but I think that's off. Oh, really? Yeah, but can you imagine? Can you imagine? All right. So in all seriousness, could you imagine uh, Tarantino doing a, doing the Fett movie? I would. Lo- I mean, I don't. I wouldn't want him ever to do like an established property, but I would like to see what he would do with a science fiction movie. Like I love right. Tarantino. Oh, you know what? To- you know what he would be that. good for. So there was a video game that was coming out that that got canceled, but it was. It, I forget that it's like level something in, in um, 1863 or something like that. It was like Corsican yeah. or Coruscant, whatever, like bowels, like bounty hunting game. Oh, you're talking yes. about the one that looked like Uncharted, but it was in Star Wars. That, that, was, like a, that was like a steampunk game, right? Yeah, yeah. that yeah. Well, it was Star Wars, but that looked really cool. And that, see, that's something Tarantino could have done in the Star Wars universe, because it's supposed to be like a fucked up place in, in uh in the in the universe. Yeah. I mean, sure. I, why not? Not no more with the mouse in charge. Yeah, you're not going to get it. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, hell no. Hell no. And you also saw your last Deadpool movie, so yeah, I don't think have fun with that. I don't think you're getting any more Deadpools. Well, not like that, right? Yeah, not real Deadpool. No. And what oh, they're going to do... They will. No. Well, I don't know. I got 20 on it right now. Not like... You might get Deadpool 3, but it'll be PG-13. Yeah. It won't, you're not getting another R Deadpool out of Disney. That's a, that's a lock. Mm. Because I guarantee you, you know what they're going to do? You know what they're going to do? Because they have X-Men and they've got Deadpool, they're going and, – and Deadpool has now been basically – he's almost an X-Man. They'll bring him into the X-Men and they'll have to keep it PG-13 because they don't want to do R-rated X-Men. Well, they're, they're – I don't know if it's still happening, but I think they're making an X-Force movie. I think – well, that was a Fox production, so who knows now. But I know I that – I think it's still happening. Cable was going to be in it. Domino was going to be in it. Peter. Uh, I think Peter was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know? Do you know from the comic books there there is a, a rumor that 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 the, the Peter character is actually a powerful character. Uh, he just looks like a doofus. Like, I was thinking that Hydra Bob was going to show up. Well, Bob was in the first one. There was a Bob character in the first one. I forget. Really? His, yeah, I forget his name. Oh, that's right. The very end. Oh, he's like Bob. How are you Peter doing? Hydra Bob. Yeah. He's right. So. Yeah. I think they thought he well, they was also Hydra Bob. In the first Deadpool, I never realized this until I was reading an interview with the director. The end fight takes place on a shield helicarrier. It's a helicarrier. Yeah, yeah. it's a helicarrier. Yeah. They just never say it. Like, but that's exactly right. what it is. Like, yeah. it's crazy that they did that and got away with it. They just don't say it, and it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. It was smart. Like, I, I was like, as soon as I, as soon as I read that, I was like, holy shit, it totally is a shield helicarrier. You didn't notice that when you watched the movie? Nope. Why, why did you think there was a giant-ass boat in the middle of the land? Well, why not? Fair. It's comic book bullshit. I mean, we, on our show, we call those peaks where he doesn't notice something. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think I was the only I'm one. I'm oblivious. Like, it looked like a battleship or something. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was like a battleship. Man. But it wasn't it was crashed either way. Like, you can have, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, I assumed it was some kind of, like, Navy yacht. It was, like, yeah, I mean, there, so... I don't think that's very strange. They, but now uh, that you say it was I mean, how many movie. how many superhero movies end in some sort of destructed landscape? Like I never really pay much attention to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think I just I just thought it was I I noticed I was like, oh that's cool. I didn't put two and two together. They don't have the rights to use a no. carrier. Right. All right. So so we're we're pretty much you know we, the draft is done and, and we we've done our thing. Um, but while I've got all these movie people here and we all have opinions on movies and and you guys are, are movie like aficionados you you Dick study heads. movies you do a wait but you do, you do a podcast about movies you guys talk about movies all the time yeah. let me get your input what do you think what do you think is going to happen infinity war 2 whatever the fuck they're going to call it oh, avengers God. 4 where do you think how do you think they're going to deal with that all that shit i mean you Everyone know you back. know they it's all a come back it's right. a new one but is it going to be time travel? Is that because that's what I think they're talking the about? Me to- or something with the fucking something with the neither uh, the the quantum yeah, the quantum I realm, think, right? I think that, that Ant Man quantum realm is going to play some kind of role in it. Uh, honestly, though, like I think one of the reasons I like the movie so much is because I I honestly don't know what they're going to do. I haven't really I haven't jumped down that Reddit hole of people's theories and things like. I, but I, I'm like at a point where I'm genuinely like interested in what they're gonna do because they didn't really. I mean, 
this happened in the comics, but in a lot different way. So I, you know, I don't have any kind of like insight, you know what I mean? Like I'm just very excited, but I, I do think with, especially how Ant-Man, the stinger and Ant-Man two ended with him stuck in the quantum realm. I think there's going to be some kind of interplay with that into the, uh, into the finale somehow. I'm not sure. I think yeah. it's going to be everyone killed in the event comes back. Well, yeah, yeah you know, the question is going to be. You, you know, they're going to come back. Yeah, but yeah, but you get the question will be: Do you get Gamora? No, do you, I don't think so. You, There's I think you do. No, I don't think so. I I think that Loki's dead. dead. Gamora's dead. dead. I think there's yeah. characters that are going to stay dead. Yeah. All right, so I, I, this is one of the things I said before after, when we talked about the movie. If I am not going to be surprised, and I'm not going to be disappointed if Loki comes back, only because well, always comes. Back. I, that's the thing. Like I don't because know, that's. Thing that, that's like his superpower, the ability to fake people the fuck out. Like, if he comes back, because he's, he's the god of tricksters, you know? He's, if he comes back because he tricked Thanos into thinking that he was dead, it's not going to bother me one bit, because that's what Loki does. That's his what thing. I would like, what I actually would like, and it would make sense, because, I mean, you also have to think, like, the thing with these Marvel movies is you have a lot of interplay between what's actually happening in the movies and behind the scenes. So you got actors that are going to get tired of being in these roles, so you're going to have to start transitioning characters and other characters and things like that so what i would like to see and i don't know if they're going to do it if they'd have the balls to do it but you know in the comic books one of the times loki came back to life he came back to life as a woman so i think that'd be cool if they did, like, either kid loki or female loki to come back because they've done both of those like he came back as a woman for a little while then he died then he came back as a child and that was actually really interesting so like one of those would be interesting because then you wouldn't not only I think it would be open up cool storyline ideas, but also then you get a new actor in there, and then you know what I mean. They that new contracts, things like that. So I don't know. Right? Aren't they saying that all this bullshit that's going down with the Guardian stuff is going to have an effect on Avengers Four? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, who? Sure, probably. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe. You know what I'm? You know what I'm disappointed about though is rights. Like so, so you know, different studios have different rights and stuff. I love Micronauts. Like, I love the whole oh, yeah. Micronauts universe. Oh, and awesome to see. They that can't cool. do it because it's owned by Hasbro, unless yeah, Hasbro's cut a deal with them. Yeah. And if and Hasbro's planning on launching their own, I think it's uh, Mask, Micronauts, G.I. Joe, we're all going to be in the same universe. It's going to be some They're kind of toy line universe. Yeah. That. Oh, my God. A Mask movie? Holy shit. I yeah. love Mask. Well, they're, they're talking about it. So... You know, it would make total sense if Scott went into the microverse and he came back with the Micronauts to like fucking oh, save everything. Cool. But it's not. I. I, see, I, I don't that see how that can happen. happen. I want to see Rom the Space Knight come yes. back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would be I want. I, I, I want the I want the next X Men. Although it's already been it's already been put together, and I know it's going to be Dark Phoenix. But I would have I would love if maybe the next X Men movie to have the Brood in it. Oh, man, that would be cool. That would be super cool. Uh, also, I, I, the other thing to think about with in, uh, Infinity War, and I know they already shot it, but I wonder if it's going to play into them owning yeah, new yeah. franchises now. Like, are we going to get a tease of, like, Reed Richards at the end of it or something, or maybe Wolverine? Because now they have those rights. So. Hello. Go ahead, Pete. Show your heart on. Go ahead. What's that? Oh, oh, so, so I, I always, I do not have a hard, Mike's got this wrong. I actually don't like the Fantastic Four. I actually do not, I don't like them. Sure. However, I thought that Infinity War could be, could be resolved with, um, with, uh, the Dr. Doom getting involved in the whole thing because he's always at the heart of every cosmic event that goes on. And I thought they'd be a good way for them to bring it back as Dr. Doom does something. Because I think in one of the Infinity comics, he actually does. He's like the last thing left and he has actually saved part of everything. That just, um, that just, that well not just, that happened about two years ago with the Secret Wars crossover where Doom basically reformed all of reality. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, it was really good. And, and that, actually like, uh, it actually led into like a really interesting comic book because Doctor Doom, like in in the course of all this, Iron Man dies, and Doctor Doom takes over the mantle of Iron Man because he wants to be a hero. It's really good, and it's written by uh, Brian Michael Bendis and drawn by Alex Maylieve. It's fantastic. Doom. It's called the the infamous Iron Man. I think is what it's called. It's great. I highly recommend it. 
All right. Well, hey, we're we're coming up on the end of this. Let's do this. I want to get I want to get some feedback real quick. What's um so so Gogs, what what does um <clears throat> what would Christopher Walken think of this uh this whole uh movie game that we're doing and and, and how it went down? I mean, it was a lock from the beginning. Obviously, these guys over here at Movie the Podcast, they know what they're doing. It's movies all the time. The spot. They know how to use quad loops, whatever that is. <laughs> morons like dinosaurs. And morons love cartoons. So, by the transitive property, transitive property. we won. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. All right, everybody, let's let's pimp let's pimp the shit that we do here. So I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Scott and Patra go first. They haven't got to talk a whole lot. Scott, Patra, tell us tell us what you so, do. Right now, um, if you're on the East Coast and you're up in New England, um, we are now uh, once a month at a bar in Rhode Island in Providence. You can come and game with us. It's called a Skew. Look for us on our Facebook site, Doc Phoenix Events. And uh, it's the Gamer Cafe. Come and come and hang with us, and meet the GMs, and do some fun gaming with us. Now you're cool. you're still doing Dark Phoenix events, right? Oh yeah, it's oh yeah. It, this yeah. is part of it. We're doing a we've got a crossover promotion with this bar in in um, Providence that we're doing. We just started last month. We ran uh, what we have three tables four, running, four. four four tables running. So uh, yeah, so we're looking. It's a brunch thing. Come and eat. The food's good there, and um. Other than that, we'll be at TotalCon next. I mean, I will be at Carnage, Carnage next. next. Yeah. And then uh, after that, TotalCon, um, we've got a bunch of private events we're doing. And hey. um, we're looking at doing, for uh, New Year's, we're going to be doing a 1920s party. So Nice, nice. Hey, you know, for that for the, the, the bar show, you ought to see yeah. if you could uh, could stream one of those on a Twitch channel or something. Oh, we could, we could talk about that. I would love that. That's, I mean, I think that would be really cool. People could actually see your events, you know, get one, you know, Take turns with different game masters yeah. and just stream one of your one of your games every week. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we should talk. Okay. All right. All right. Hey guys. All right. Okay. Well, hang on. Hang on one second. Guys. So, uh, so, so TJ and Cox, what you guys? What you doing? What's, uh, what's good? As much oh, as easy. Uh, what? The butt. Oh, did I say that out loud. Okay, uh, sure. We are, uh, we're just doing our, our thing over at Molehole, uh, Movie the Podcast, uh, once right, a Movie week. Movie the Podcast. Yeah, so uh, you can find Movie the Podcast on moleholeradio.com. we got a whole bunch of other shows going right now, uh, but Movie the Podcast is the show that Gogs and I are on. Uh, every, if, if you're not familiar, uh, our movie show, we try to differentiate ourselves because every month is a theme. What's this theme? Uh, this, this month's theme is Labor Gaze. So every movie this month will star a gay uh, protagonist or antagonist. Yeah, it's an L oh, okay. LGBT. So league. yeah. Um, but last, what was last month? Last month was um, what was August? Oh, it was Summer Bummers. Summer Bummers. We watched <laughs> all the Summer Bummers. It was movies that made no money. Yeah, it was awful. The last one we watched was Police Academy: Mission to Moscow, and that was. <laughs> Oh, pixels and Police Academy Mission to Moscow made sixty-three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Did um, that finally kill the uh, franchise? Was that it? Did that finally know, do it in? No. Well, it did for years, but there's actually talk now of doing oh it again. No. Oh. No. We, we haven't lost enough money. We're gonna lose Mike all. Winslow and all those guys. It's ridiculous. No. But yeah, definitely check out our show. We try to make it lots of fun. Cool. Uh, Fail miserably. I uh, I will be selling uh, my artwork and a bunch of other crap at the Baltimore Comic Con at the end of the month, so you can actually see me in person and bring me a beer. It'd be great. Um, so, can you yeah. drink beer on the floor? I mean, they didn't tell me I couldn't. Okay, <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> they'll tell me this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're sitting there for three days, but like just sit, sitting around. I mean, I'm gonna have to drink. So. Yeah. Ask me no questions, and I'll tell you no lies. Yeah. Right. Um, hey, can yeah. I bring you some Four loco? It looks like a soda. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I don't have a problem with the Locos. Bring Do they even sell it shit? Of Merlot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so that'll, that'll be at the end of the month, Baltimore Comic Con. It's always a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of other, obviously, like, a lot of other great people there. So, be cool. 
right? Great people beyond myself who right. is not great. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, that's bullshit. You know, TJ uh, talks down, but his his artwork is great. I, I even have two pieces hanging on my wall right now. Oh God, um, yeah, yeah. He's got good stuff. And I, I still yeah, want to buy that other one from you. Frank I actually painted that. Uh, no, I, no yeah, that's better than Frank Frazetta. Yeah. No, really not that one. <laughs> not that one. I still want to buy that damn... Um, uh, in the hallway. Quint, yeah, I still have that it. Quint. I'll bring it with me to Comic-Con. Show up. If you do, I'll buy it. I'll buy yeah, it off you right yeah, on the I'll, spot. I, I can send it to you tomorrow. It's it's literally sitting in my hallway waiting for you. So. All right. All right. Cool. Fantastic. Hey, Pete, yeah. Do you have a piece of his work handy right now? I, I do. Hold on. Hold on. I'll hold it up. Here we go. I can go grab something off. No, the I got wall. one right here. Look, this is great. Oh, the dude, that is a good Too one. Too close. Too close. All right, the dude. Yeah. How's that? I got That's hold cool. on. I got all this yeah, screen image cool. on here. Uh, and and uh, Pete, you bought that from me off of. Uh, you bought that off of me at Baltimore Comic Con last year. I did. I did. I saw the dude, and I was like, I got it. I gotta have that. I need that. Oh, 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 this on. is my. This is my personal God, favorite. I just, nice. Oh, that's yeah. my big fan of this one. That's that's awesome. Oh, oh thanks. That is, yeah. It's still man. wild left. Like TJ yeah. does so many. If you if you like Jaws, okay. If you if you happen to like the movie Jaws, TJ yeah. does so many goddamn quints. Oh, that no, I, get the Jaws one I just did. I just I, did one. I keep telling him he should come out with a with a quint book, just a I, a whole book of quints. I well, my Jaws is my my favorite movie. Actually, I have a love that movie. Too. You can't really see it, but. That I, this is a commission. Oh, nice. Here's the swim in the blue lake of women. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. But this is a TJ commission I had for Jaws. Yeah, I did the Fantastic. Oh, that's the best. Man. I love it. I love it's, it. So I mean, go. Jaws is the best. You can't get better, a better movie than Jaws. Fantastic. All right. That's. I'm gonna. We're gonna wrap this up, guys. Yeah. Thanks again Pedro, for having us. We really everybody. appreciate it. Hey, uh, after yes. you go. Uh, off air, I want to talk to Mike for just a sec. Okay. All right. All right. So so hang on, Mike, and you hang on. All right. Let's do this. Let's do the – let's do this thing here. Hey, everybody. You have just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Myth Wits. We're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Please ask our guests questions or just banter with the other Myth Fits. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episodes on Facebook or YouTube. Find us on Facebook and Twitter as MythWits and check out MythWits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher, or you can listen to us. Um, uh, oh shoot, I gotta get I gotta get rid of that line. Never mind that. Uh, do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate, and make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread MythWits love over the entire planet. MythWits is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool shows. MythWits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it, and uh, you know, don't trade it in for Quatloos. Make sure to check out, and if you do, spend all the fucking Quatloos, all of them. Make sure to check out Studio187.com for more cool stuff and to join our mailing list. Thanks for everybody listening, everybody for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. Uh, and Mike, do you have one this week, Mike? Uh, no, I have nothing. He has nothing. Other right. than I'm sweating my balls off. Right, right. How was that handsy? Was it any? Uh, that, no? It's still going on. Okay, good. That's why I sweat his balls off. Excellent. I mean, All right, everybody. It didn't last longer than five minutes. Not sweat. At a certain point. Someone might have a prior prism. Right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>